Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. I want to talk about Jaguar Wright's appearance on the Piers Morgan show. I think she did amazing. She looked beautiful. I think she did a great job. So for those who don't know who Jaguar Wright is, she's a singer who recently appeared on Piers Morgan Uncensored and made bold claims about Diddy and Jay-Z. Jaguar, who was discovered by The Roots in 1998 and once sang back up for Jay-Z on MTV Unplugged, has spoken out about the darker side of the music industry before. In 2022, I believe is when Jaguar hit up these YouTube streets and started allegations against Diddy all over YouTube. A lot of stuff Jaguar Wright have said are shocking to most people, but to those of us who are in the know, it's not shocking. A lot of us been saying these things that Jaguar Wright have said. I can name websites that would talk about Hollywood and these celebrities, even YouTubers, who would talk about the dark side of Hollywood. And I'll speak for myself. If you ask anyone who knows me, they'll tell you, I've always been on it. And when you have discernment, you'll know when someone is lying to you. You'll know when they are mixing lies with truth. So if you don't have discernment, pray for some discernment. And you'll definitely know when someone is full of ish. So I say all this to say, if you are on the right side, if you are on the side of justice, team justice, then you should be glad that Jaguar made it on a huge platform such as Pierce Morgan show. You know, we are on the right side. We're on the same side. We want the same goal. We want these monsters, these demons to be locked up, to be held accountable for their demonic actions. So yeah, let's not fight you guys. We are on the right side. Jaguar was asked why she thought Jay-Z was staying silent during Diddy's ongoing lawsuit. Jaguar said that's what he does. He starts little fires everywhere, forces everyone involved to go and carry water while he sneaks away without a response. That changes now, Sean. You must respond. You have no choice. When Pierce asked how dangerous she thought Diddy was, Jaguar responded, I think he's one of the most dangerous people I've ever met. She explained that despite attending Diddy's parties, they don't have any photos together because she's smart and would never take a picture with the devil. She went on to say everyone knew he was the devil and he's been like this for 30 years. Jaguar believes Diddy will have to cooperate with the authorities and that his ego and DRUG addiction will prevent him from doing otherwise. She also claimed he has everyone on tape and they all know it. Check out these clips and I'll be back. Uh, do you feel vindicated yes. by the events of the last few weeks? No, not at all. Um, I... Because he's just the beginning until him and his cohorts are all held to account publicly and legally, the victims, they're not safe. So you wanna know why there's no vindication for me? Mm. Because for four years, I've been screaming, not just Diddy, but Diddy and Jay-Z are monsters. And the victim making machine kept going on. Jay-Z has been notable by his silence since uh, these charges were brought against Diddy. Why do you think that is? Because that's what he does. He starts little fires everywhere, forces everyone involved to go and carry water while he sneaks away without a response. That changes now, Sean. You must respond. You have no choice. Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein, Robert Kelly, Sean Combs have one person in common professionally and privately. Sean Carter, this has been a fist of tyranny that has been punching through. 
our culture and our society for decades. It must stop. Everyone knew he was the devil. He's been the devil for 30 years. He's been covered and protected by not only Clive Davis, but Lucian Grange. He was selected to be the demon that he is to keep the culture in line so the industry could continue to rape it for all of its precious jewels. We have too many lost. The list of lost is ridiculous. And everyone knows Diddy was selected for this job. It seems to have been something that people, a lot of people knew about, but people were simply too scared to talk about. Everyone knows. And every person that's sitting there trying to act surprised knows very well. The whole point of this, like Cat Williams said when he sat with Shay Shay earlier this year, the whole point of this is for them in a coordinated effort to pretend like none of it is real for the public's perception. But everyone knows what's going on, and it's been going on for years. It's been going on before Diddy. See, people keep looking at him like he's a Sputnik that came out of nowhere. This is someone who was designed to be what he is. We got to stop making ditties. And if we're going to do that, then we got to go back. We got to go back to even further, the mentors of these people. Because Diddy was taught how to do what he does systematically, and Clyde Davis has been his greatest teacher. How, mm -hmm. many, how many victims potentially do you think there could be? Thousands. Thousands. I've talked to hundreds that I deal with still myself. Mm. I have three victims right now who are willing to give testimony about not only what Mr. Carter has done to them, but his wife as well. They're a nasty little couple. They do nasty things. What do you think happened with Kim Keeping Paul? people against their will. Mm. Putting people on planes while they're unconscious, just like Aaliyah got on that plane. Unconscious. There's a lot of things that people don't want to talk about, Pierce. Jaguar did amazing. And I love how she mentioned Lucy and Grange. You guys know that's not his real name. He was born Michael Gee. His father's name is Cecile Gee. And they both changed their names. Pretty strange. But anyway, Jaguar had these streets on fire. Listen, Jaguar was feeding everybody including Pierce Morgan with his 2 point something million views, okay? Everybody was making videos about Jaguar being on Pierce Morgan because it was like, what? Everyone was wondering, how did Jaguar land it on Pierce Morgan's show? You know, a lot of people don't like Jaguar, but she be feeding them. She be feeding these YouTubers, okay? Jaguar bring the views. Everybody was talking about it. They couldn't believe it. Even the Star Report made a video and Jaguar was watching. Oh my gosh, she called in. Boy, oh boy, let me tell you. Jaguar told Star she wanted to ask him three questions. Now right there, I knew. I knew what time it was, okay? I knew what time it was. <laughs> so the first question was, is Malcolm X better than Jay-Z? I forgot what Star said. Star was like, in what way? I forgot what he said. Then, then Jaguar asked, is Barack Obama better than Jay-Z? I don't even think she got to ask the third question because it was a mess. Jaguar said the reason why she called in was because Star have so much respect for Jay-Z. Jaguar said that Star respects Jay-Z a lot. But others who know him might not feel the same, which is why Star is a fan. She also wondered why Star is such a big fan of Vlad TV. So <laughs> during the conversation, Star told her to watch her language and set some rules before continuing. At first, Star wasn't sure if, it, if he was talking to Jaguar. But when she started singing Jay-Z's song, Ain't No Love, in the heart of the city. <laughs> he realized it was her. At this point, Star caught off guard. 
You guys, Star started stumbling over his words. He was stuttering. He was backpedaling. His knock knees were knocking all on the live. Oh, it was a mess. He praised her for being on Pierce Morgan's show, saying Jaguar hit a grand slam being on the Pierce Morgan show and speculating she might be on the Joe Rogan show next. But Jaguar wasn't having it. Jaguar got annoyed when Star said Jay-Z was on a different level, a different caliber. So Jaguar claimed she was on a different caliber too. She then began trolling Star by bringing up his former radio co-host, Buckwild, claiming to be friends with him. Star perceived her comments as disrespectful. And the conversation quickly took a turn for the worse. And even though Star told Jaguar to watch her language, Star started cursing, calling her names and demanding respect, saying he didn't need her to go viral. What the heck is going on? Jaguar fired back, you guys, accusing Star of looking for attention and seeking a moment and criticized his support for Vlad, whom she called a liar. Star continued with more insults. Jaguar's boyfriend stepped in, asking Star to chill with the disrespect. But Jaguar kept making comments about Buckwell and Jay-Z. Jaguar said that Jay-Z is going to jail and Star can suck Joe Rogan's you know what? In the end, she hung up and Star became even more upset, throwing more insults after the call ended. Ah, it was a mess. All the troll babies were saying Star was having a midlife crisis. This guy was unhinged, okay? A hot mess. And he got his viral moment. <laughs> but yeah. The name calling was too harsh. Yeah, I couldn't. I was cringing. I cringe. It was too harsh. I didn't like it. Mm -mm. I don't like that. I don't like that. But, yeah. That's my take on what happened. You guys, what are your thoughts on Jaguar being on Pierce Morgan's show? Do you think she did the damn thing or what? And what are your thoughts on Star's midlife crisis? Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like. Thank you for the support. Subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Peace.